In this video, I will show you how to create heart dynamic motion backgrounds in CapCut PC. To start, go to Library, click Background, drag and drop the black background into the timeline. Customizing it to a resolution of 3840 by 2160 for a 4000 resolution. Next, drag and drop the white background. Go to Video Maps, choose Heart, and create a small heart. Once done, you can adjust the position and size. Go back to Basic. Adjust scale of this make it bigger smaller. We're going to leave it somewhere in 10%. And then move it to the top left corner. Next, we'll copy it using CTRL plus C or Command plus C for Mac users and paste it to times. Arrange the one copy on the same Y axis. One copy is placed bottom middle between the two upper hearts. Now, arrange the layer positions of the three hearts in a specific order, top left, top right, and bottom middle. Starting from the top left heart, set a position and size keyframe. Move play cursor 3 frames to the left and move the top left heart a little to the left on the screen. Move play cursor 3 frames to the left Move the top left heart back to the original position on the screen. Repeat this process to create a smooth loop. Now, we've completed the loop animation for the first heart. Repeat the same process for the other hearts. Top right heart moved to the right, then back to the original position. Bottom middle heart moved to the up, then back to the original position. Ensuring a seamless transition between each movement. This will form a looping animation sequence. Animation to fast. To control the animation speed, Select all heart layer, create a compound clip, and adjust the speed. Next, Duplicate the compound clip and layer it on top, then repeat the process to form a full line effect.
Copy and paste these compounds, moving them to the right side to create multiple lines. To enhance the visual appeal, we'll add a glitch effect by going to Video Effects, selecting Color Glitch. Adjusting the intensity and speed. Once you're satisfied with the design, it's time to export. Once it's done, we'll import the exported clip back into Kafka. We'll adjust the opacity to around 70% to give it a subtle look. Adjust speed. Then, we'll apply a filter to enhance the visual appeal. You can always adjust the strength of the filter to suit your preference. To make the background even more cinematic, we can add a bit of blur and play around with the settings to get it just right. Next, we'll add some text to the scene using a specific template and stretch it to cover the entire background. Feel free to zoom in or out to achieve the desired effect. And there you have it, a captivating and dynamic motion background for your videos. Don't be afraid to experiment with different effects and settings to make it truly unique. If you found this video helpful, please give this video a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials. Thanks for watching.